Okay, well, we're live on uh, YouTube. We're live on Facebook. Very cool. And since we're having all kinds of interesting problems with uh, Instagram, we'll see if we can't get Instagram going here. It's checking the connection. And we're live on Instagram. Uh, hey, Melody, good morning. Why don't you go ahead and click the uh, record button for our good morning. Good morning. Good morning for our Zoom Fine Arts Academy. It is Wednesday. No, no, it's Tuesday, right? Tuesday, and it's week 34. Is that correct, Melody? No, 35. No, 36. 36, is it week 30, 35, 35, okay. Well, today, yesterday, we had so much fun. Let me show you what we did yesterday. We had such a good time yesterday. We did, uh, uh, I think this was this was our 4 p.m. class. We did the um, uh, uh, Bob, Shrek's cousin. We drew Bob's mountains. Now, this is on uh, Facebook and on YouTube and on part of it is on Instagram. Uh, we did the melty candle with the cool handles to to the candle, and I'm not sure where where did I put my uh, where did I put my 6:30 class? I know I did a 6:30 class last night. I did do one, right, Melody? I did a 6:30 class last night. I don't really remember where my where the drawing went. I don't know what I did with the drawing. Oh, here it is. This good thing I found it. This was last night at 6.30. We did the Ninja Banana. We did Aunt Angela with the bird in her hair. And we did the Contour Wave of Creativity. That was really cool. We're kind of taking a tour, a stroll back a year. Uh, uh, looking back at the lessons we did a year ago during my hour of pencil power. So today we're going to draw the, uh, the Illuminating Light Bulb. And we're going to draw the uh, Hugging Koala gonna be really cool and then I want to draw the penguin portal I want to draw the penguin coming out of the portal so if you're ready let's uh let's start I want to welcome all the all my students around the world who are here and if you have uh if you want to send me where you're from I would love to put your uh, name of your country on my list here and I have my country list well that's at least I did I have so many. Oh, here it is. I found it. I found it. So I have this this list of countries. And if you want to send me where you're from, if you're from the country of Pennsylvania, or the country of North Carolina, or the country of Germany, send me a note, and I'd love to put you on my list. It would be awesome. All right. So put. Let's start. Put a dot in the middle of your piece of paper. Let's get four territories. Get four squares. And. Let's see where we're going to travel for this hour, Pencil Pie. Now, remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just do the best you can. And I'm going to straighten that up here. There you go. Maybe zoom that in just a bit. So I'm going to start right here in square number one. I'm going to start by drawing this illuminating light bulb. Now, this this is a, a actually a lesson from my... Uh, Using a shadow, emphasizing in my my book, you can draw in thirty seconds, and one and all the lessons emphasize shadow, and shading, and three dimensional skill. All these words that are going to build your your drawing, your three dimensional skills. So I'm going to draw this this LED light bulb that's illuminating. Curve the end right here, and I'll zoom in so you can see what I'm doing here, and I'll zoom that in focus each of them and um this is tapering see we're tapering down this is going to be our light bulb of ideas it's going to be illuminating our genius brilliant ideas contour lines curving these lines at the bottom contour curve 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 to give it shape and volume melody do you want to let us uh, there we got kylie dean in the class that's awesome now i'm going to draw see here's our goal this is what i want to draw right here that wonderful illuminating light bulb. Oh, look at, oh, hello, Instagram students. Good to see you. And, oh, you know what? I forgot to, I forgot to turn Facebook on. I want to see, uh, I know we have YouTube folks drawing, but I haven't, I didn't turn my Facebook on. I wanted to see who's drawing with me on Facebook. So let me just get, get this. I knew I was forgetting something. 
let me get uh, get my comments pulled up on Facebook. I want to see who's drawing with me here. Let's see here. So what I'm doing is I start very lightly. This is going to be where the illuminated lines are all going to be radiating out from the center. And I'm going to do some long ones and some short ones. See this? I'm going to do a couple short. Look at this. I'm going to do really long, maybe really long and short. Look at some of these. Some of these go right off the paper. See that? That one goes right up off the off the edge. I'm going to have a couple of them and short. And I'm going to do some really long. And one the uh, the important part of this is variety. I'm not. I, you don't want it to look too too cookie cutter, stamped out of a cookie. You want it to look like it's really, really, really a kind of just a random, natural. Some some medium, some long, some short. Okay, and oh, I want to see. Let's go to my Facebook comments real good, real quick here. Good morning. Good morning. I'm excited because Mario and I, we have a big day planned after our lesson today. After our lesson today, we're going to be going down to, hey, Mary Curtis. Hello, Donovan on Facebook. Good to see you guys up there. And on Instagram. We have uh, Nasiba, and we have, uh, let's see here, we have Amida, and we have Dem, ha, <laughs> it's hard for me to see, because I have to turn my head sideways, Demison. So thank you guys, I'm going to say hello D, hello Ann, hello Scary, hello everybody on Instagram, so good to see you, I know you have to turn your, your screen sideways, all right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm using this as my 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 idea here. See, this is my reference. That's that's what we're doing. We're going to draw that light bulb really bright, illuminating. And the fun part about this one is going to be the is going to be these the the dark areas. And I, see, I do some really long. Look at this. Some going right out of the square. A couple medium ones. A short one. Another long one. And then just have some fun. Just go around here. And we're going to draw the, the this cool, cool. And you can twist and turn your paper. Sometimes I can get a better, get a better looking, uh, looking little spike by, by uh, radiating, illuminating spike by twisting and turning. That goes right off the paper. Now, to make it look really bright, to make it look like it's illuminating, I'll darken in underneath here, see, and I'll get lighter. See, it's going out from the center. See, all the lines are going out from the center, so it's dark inside here. And it's, I'll work my way around. I'll rotate it. So here we're using a contrasting value. I want this the light bulb to look like it's really bright, and so I'll darken in around the outside, and we'll have the... Uh, that light bulb, that contrast will make it look even brighter, even wider. So these are curved lines, contour, the illuminating light bulb. I'm going to put a couple little reflections up here. Just a few little reflection squares right there. And the idea is to make it look like it's reflecting some image in the room, some surface in the room. All right, so look at I'm going to darken in, in the nooks and crannies. We did this. We did this on a lot of drawings. You can see how we darkened in the nooks and crannies underneath the parachuting penguin. We darkened in the nook and cranny underneath the thumbs up, thumbs up underneath the sleeve right there. Uh, look at how I darkened in the, for the flying owl. Look at how I darkened in underneath the chin, underneath the wing, underneath the feathers, underneath the claws. Isn't that cool? Well, it looks like we have Robert Newstead on Instagram. Hello, Robert Newstead. How are you? Now, talking about how darkness really helps emphasize. Look at this. See the little bunny rabbit here? See how that darkness underneath the bunny rabbit's ears and its nose? Look under the carrot. Look underneath the carrot's uh, tassel there at the end. You see that? See how that lifts it up? So those... Those shadows really pick up your drawing. Take your finger, everybody, on Zoom. Say, aha! Let me hear you, Caitlin, Luca, Melody, Fatima, Una, Clacy on my Zoom Fine Arts Academy class. I see you. There's Una. Una's freaking out. I love it. Aha! Time for an Una maneuver. Time for an Una maneuver. This is what Una does. You take your stuffed animal, and she comes in sideways. 
And Una actually does this on the camera with her face, and it's really funny and scary because I'm afraid she's going to fall over and hurt herself. The Una Maneuver. She has her own licensed, trademarked Una Maneuver. Okay, here, look at dark up here. I'm so glad you guys on my fine arts gallery. Week 35, you guys. We have six more weeks before my summer camp start. Oh, there's my segue. There's my, my gentle nudge, my shameless plug for my Zoom summer fine arts camp. And the way you sign up for my summer fine arts camp, you guys, you go to my website, markkissler.com. Go to my website right there. I have to turn, turn it sideways so you can see it. markkissler.com. Sign up for my Zoom virtual summer. I have 14 weeks. 14 weeks of summer camps. It's going to be so awesome. I hope you guys, you families, it's good for the whole family. It's just one price for the whole family. It's $99 for the whole week for your whole family. It doesn't matter if you have one person drawing with me or eight people drawing with me in your in your house, per household. All right, so now, here, let's, I'm going to keep doing the shading. I'm going to make this light bulb look really cool. Take it, This is the fun part when you start adding the details. You take your time, enjoy it. So we have this idea. Now, I don't know how this is going to affect your story. I always encourage you to create, create a story with your drawings. So what kind of story are you going to create? We have this light bulb, you know, and then we're going to have the next square. Uh, we're going to have the, the penguin popping out of the portal. So what? what's that? How's the light bulb? Maybe the penguin has an idea. Maybe I'll put the penguin portal below the light bulb. That's an idea. Here, let's just dark here and we get it lighter. I'm going to keep twisting it. It's easier, see? It's easier for me to do these, but in order to keep it, I'm going to have to keep it twisted like that because I want to keep it in the screen. So you guys are doing so great. Hold up your drawing to the camera so I can see how you're doing on this. Fatima, Luca, Melody, Una, Clacy. Good to see you guys. I wish I could see you guys on Instagram here. Hey. Robert said he loves the owl. Well, thank you. We'll be doing the owl in one of these drawings coming up. Get lighter and lighter. See, we're dark on the edge, and we're getting lighter as we go out. Dark down here, and see how it makes that light bulb look really bright. Now, right there. Now, I'm going to put a little bit of uh, value on the side here. Just a little bit of value. I know it doesn't scientifically make sense because it's all light. It wouldn't have any shadow, but I'm going to put just a little value just because it looks kind of cool. It just, this doesn't make scientific sense. I know. For, for, we're defying physics because we can. It's it's your drawing. It's your world. It's your, it's your arena of geniusness. Your arena. Look at what I did. I smeared that right there with my, I guess my hand. Look at my hands getting all. All uh, pencil -y. All right. That's cool. There's our first drawing, you guys. That's awesome. Here, um, uh, uh, Madeline, can you, Melody, can you do a uh, round robin? I want to see these kids work here. Stick it up there. There's Una. Una's having her, uh, she's animating her light bulb. Here, uh, Melody's going to put everybody up there on the screen. Can you grab it? Can you spotlight everybody on the screen? There you go. Fatima, put up your light bulb, you silly goose. I know you want to show off your other drawings, but I want to see your light bulb. Fatima, put your light bulb up, you silly. Uh, Luca, nice job. Melody, nice job. And Fatima's defined me. She's saying, no, I'm not going to put my light bulb up. I'm going to have my card comic strip. Nice job. All right, let's go to square number two in your next square. Let's move our drawing over to square number two. We're going to draw. I'm not going to do the penguin because I'm going to put the penguin beneath my drawing. So in this next one, I'm going to draw, uh, I'll draw the hugging koala. Actually, you know what? You know what? Uh, what do I, I do? I kind of want to do the penguin. Let's do the penguin right now. All right, we'll do the penguin. So here's, we're going to draw this guy right here. I'm going to draw that penguin, Peng, the penguin portal. And I got some, some great, like here, this is one where I had a whole bunch of penguins coming out of the portal right here. Like I'm trying to get it centered. See that? We're gonna draw. We're gonna draw the penguin portal. So I'm gonna draw. I'm gonna draw the portal right here. 
I'm going to draw the portal, draw the circle. I'm going to block in the circle, very light, just sketch, sketch, sketch. Light, 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 light. And I'll get it positioned with my camera here. Focus it. And we're just blocking it in, really light, see? Now, I'm going to put, I'll put the outline of the portal. This is where I'm going to put all the nuts and the bolts and the thickness, okay? So there's our, there's our portal. I'm going to erase the extra lines. Look at that. I went outside this square. No problem. Just erase it. No stress. And what do we always say? Stress is on the bus. No stress, you guys. Beep, 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 beep. On Instagram, someone type in beep, 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 beep. On Facebook, someone, someone type in, someone type in beep, beep, no stress. I want you guys to give yourself the license to flop. Give yourself permission to fail. Give yourself license to flop. Give yourself permission to, to step out of your creative comfort zone and try something new. You have to fail to succeed, you guys. You got to keep flopping, flopping, flopping. Here, thumbs up for being brave and trying new things. Oh, yeah. Looking cool here. Now, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to draw, let's draw this penguin guy. I'm going to draw this penguin guy. He's kind of kicking back. See that? He's leaning out. He's going to be leaning out of the... So I'm going to draw this. He's kind of leaning back here. In fact, I'm going to, I'm going to have him coming out of the window. So I'm going to make him make the head here. See that? I, I started and I didn't like how big it was, so I made it a little bit bigger. Because I want to, and then I erase all my extra lines. There's my penguins kind of slanting back there. Then I'm going to take his wing. I'm going to have his, his wing coming out of the window. And let's pull this one out just a bit so you can see me. And then his beak, I have his beak going in this direction here. So I'm going to draw the penguin beak leaning back. And look at the beak comes out of the portal and the head comes out of the portal and the the wing comes out of the portal. I like the, how that creates. You see how that makes it look really cool, how that pops out? It, it creates a more dynamic effect if you ha have things coming out of your boundaries. No boundaries for us, right? No boundaries for us. I'm going to erase. Take my handy brush, clean that up. And on the other side, on this one, I'm going to have, see, I, I follow the logic of this where the wing is. I'm going to put the other wing here. And I'm going to have the penguin. Here's the penguin's kind of like, now this, this wing is a little bit smaller. This wing's bigger, and this wing's going to be a little bit smaller here. And that's the word called size. There's 12 Renaissance words all together. Remember that. And if you learn these words, you can draw in 3D. You can get this word free. You can go to my website. You can go to draw3d.com and click printables. And you can print this chart up. It's such a handy chart. All right. Also, if you want to get a membership to my Draw 3D website, here comes my shameless plug. Thanks for putting up with my promotions. Um, it's a year membership. Here's half off for you. There's my secret code. And for uh, half off, instead of being two hundred a year, it's ninety nine dollars for the year for five hundred lessons plus every Monday, many many hours available. Four hours we go live on Zoom on Mondays. That's very cool. Now this chart, the twelve Renaissance word charts, also in the back of my book, my You Can Draw in Thirty Seconds book right here. And we'll just show you in the back. Look at isn't that cool? In the back of the book, you can look at all these lessons and get ideas. There's all these charts in the back of the book here. And here's the, the 22 uh, augmenting art chart. And here's the drawing compass chart right here. There's the Renaissance word chart, the 12 Renaissance words. And here's the 99 pencil power level. That's all in this book. Now, you can't get this book on uh, Amazon.com. You have to go to my website at markkistler.com to order that. And I sure hope you guys do. Now, for a, for a limited time, I'm autographing all I'm autographing all the book orders. So you don't have to order the fifty dollar version of my book. You just order the twenty dollar edition, and I'll autograph it. Make sure you mark it down who you want me to autograph the book to. Okay, make sure that you you mark you you uh make a note who do you want me to autograph the book to. I'm gonna autograph it. And so if it's to you 
or uh, if it's to a friend. All right, so now up here, I'm gonna I'm gonna put some hair on top of the penguin, put some wrinkles where the now I darken it in. I almost like an ink line here. See this? Darken in the penguin. I put wrinkles when it comes out of the portal. You see, there's that window. There's the portal. I'm gonna draw that portal. I just darken it in here. I'm gonna go ahead and put that. That's that uh, copper frame right around it, like a submarine portal window or a flying saucer. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just just draw the dark line. You can erase the extra lines in just a second. The fun part's going to be shading this bad boy. This is going to be really cool. Let's put the belly, and there's that wing. It's coming out. See that? You see how nice that turns out? We start real slow, and we just shape it. Do you guys love it? Do you love it, love it, love it? A little penguin guy. Hello, Ivan. Hello, not a phony. Hello, uh, Brenda Carr. Hello, Drumming Wolf on Instagram. You guys have the most interesting. Uh, uh, now, thank you, Mr. J. Doug Coraline, Coralon. Thank you, Doug. You're awesome. Good to have you guys. I, I love having all you guys on uh, Facebook with me. All right. Now, I haven't opened the chat box. I forgot to open the chat box in my Zoom class. How you doing, Clacy? Una, how you doing, you guys? Uh uh, Fatima came late, so she didn't draw the light bulb. Oh, now here, let's talk about this darkness again, you guys. Let's talk about this darkness. We're going to shade back behind here, just like behind the light bulb. Watch what happens. Look at this. I'm going to put all this. Isn't that cool? I'm going to put a lot of darkness back here. You see? I'm going to do a lot of darkness. Let's say, hey! Let's put a lot of darkness back here. Mario just came in the room and I and I said, "Hey, hey, Mario and I are excited because we are going to go down. We're driving down the one of the main reasons. Not only is the the beach down there. Now it's a different it's a, it's a different kind of beach than I grew. I grew up with white sand, sugar sand from Southern California. Now the the uh, waves, the 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 ocean, the Gulf." It's uh, the it's brown. The beaches are brown, so it's, it takes a lot of getting used to. They're dirt beaches, not not really sand. Well, I guess it's still sand, but it's it's like brown sand. And uh, so that's so. But Mario Mario loves it. Mario loves digging in there and building stuff. It's really cool. So we're gonna go down to Galveston, down to the Gulf. But the main reason is, what's the main reason, Mario? Crawfish. Crawfish. We found a restaurant that has crawfish that will deliver to the curb. We'll pull up, and we'll order it, and we'll they'll bring it out, and they'll put it they'll put it on our hood here. They'll put it on our hood. Sorry about this. Sorry about this right here. I don't want to answer that. He's calling, and not at a good time. Not a good time for him to call. Now, now watch this. I'm going to draw the. I'm going to draw the belly here. There you go. This will be an emperor penguin. I like this, you guys. This is really fun. This is really shaping up. We have we started with our morning light bulb. And you know, you know as I got uh, more I was really a little still groggy when I started this morning drawing this one, but as I got got going, the drawing kind of loosened up, got my imagination going, it got my teaching uh, you know, flow going. And then now look at this. You see, drawing is a great elixir. It's great therapy. If you're a little, not really feeling, you know, super energetic or super inspired, just pick up your pencil and it'll get there. Just take, take 15, 20 minutes and just start doodling and drawing and shading. I tell you, drawing is such a great therapy. It's such great, uh, stress release. It's such great emotional balancer. Well, I'm writing a whole book. My new book coming out here is called Half Hour Pencil Power. It's coming out with Hatchet Books. And and the and the premise of the whole book is that drawing is a wonderful stress reducer. It's a wonderful distraction from the anxiety of uh, the, the year and a half of the COVID that we're going through. That's the whole motivation is how drawing can help. It really helps strengthen your mental health, your 
your uh, spiritual and mental health, you know, your, and your physical health too. If your mental health is better, your physical health is better. And art, thinking creatively, basically being creative, doing something creative every day. What, do you, what are you guys' thoughts on that? Here, send me a comment. Do you guys agree? Here, this will be interesting. Do you agree that, let's use drawing as the base, but anything creative, playing a musical instrument, baking a muffin, you know, uh, gardening beautiful flowers, doing something creative is good for your mental health, is good for your spiritual well-being, is good for your, your uh, uh, physical health. Do you guys agree with that premise? That is the whole point of my new book, The Half Hour of Pencil Power, is that drawing, I use drawing as mine because I love to draw, drawing will make you healthier. Drawing will make you a, a calmer, less stressed, happier person. That is, uh, that's my position and I'm sticking to it. I have pictures of this cleaning. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I have pictures of this cleaning. Yeah, that's right. All right, did you get yours? I'll get your pencil and start drawing with me, Mr. Chatterbox. Okay, now I'm gonna put I'm gonna put some some bolts on the outside here. I'm gonna put some bolts. Put some bolts on the outside. All right, isn't that cool? Our little portal. Now I want to add, just because it looks cool. Watch this. I'm gonna put. I just love. The impact of this, you see this. I'm going to make this this value just darker right along that that portal. Isn't that cool? You see that? Do you like that? Do you, can you tell what I'm doing there? See, I'm taking my pencil and I'm darkening the eye, and I get lighter. I'm going to twist it and turn it, and I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to darken it in, get lighter as it comes out. Lighter, see, darken it, lighter, lighter, lighter. All right, time for my plug for my summer art camps. I hope you guys sign up. There's 14 weeks of, of three hours a day of summer art camps. I hope you guys sign up. Also, sign up for my Draw 3D website. I have 500 lessons on here. Check it out. Here's your 50% off code. If you guys want to sign up for that, that's a year 50% off code. And hey, while you're at it, while you have your credit card out, order my book from my website. You can draw in 30 seconds. It's two pounds. It's two pounds, eight and a half by 11, 200 pages of drawing lessons. It's so awesome. You can draw in 30 seconds. I hope you guys order that and I'll sign it. You don't have to uh, remember. Okay, you don't have, and Mario will sign it too. Oh, look at Mario. will even draw a picture. If you guys mention Mario in your order, He'll draw a picture in your book. Look at this one. He, he In this book right here inside the cover, look at he drew that. He drew inside here, and he signed it. You can get an autograph from Mario and from... I have, one, I have a picture in the book. That's right, and he has his picture in the book in the last page here. Let's darken in the background. Let's have it get lighter and lighter. Lighter and lighter. Twisting and turning. Lighter and lighter. Let's twist and turn this. Look at I'm just I've got to twist it so I keep my hand going in the same position. Do you guys like this? Here, what do you, give me some comments? What do you guys think here? Look at all the people, Mario. Uh, hey Mario, Pierre, Pierre, Pierce. Ha, sorry, I'm gonna sideways. Pierre, Pierre said Bison. You guys on Instagram have the, it's a little teeny tiny name, but thank you, Pierce. He's going to order my book now from my website. I'll sign it. Just order the $20 version. Don't worry about ordering the $50 version. Just order it. Thanks. 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 Thanks for that book order. Mario and I appreciate it. We're self-publishing this one and I've gone through almost the, all of the first thousand in print. So that's exciting. Ready to order the next thousand. Now I have over a million of my books in print. Ooh, ooh, la la. Am I impressing you guys? Am I impressing you guys out there on uh, Mel Melody? Uh, Melody said she a thousand percent agrees that drawing is a great emotional therapy, great stabilizer, great uh, 
uh, elixir of joy. That's There's just so many benefits yeah. to drawing. It relaxes you. It's just you get into that creative mode here. All right, so there's that's cool. Now, I, I really like what happened there. I'm going to focus that one a little bit more. And I'm going to focus that one. I love that. I love what we did. Now, on the light bulb, I, I, I did a little, I need to put a little more down here in this area and have it get lighter. Look at, I'm smearing. My hand is just so, uh, I, you know what I have to do? So I have to take a piece of paper and use it as a shield because my hand is making a mess. See what I did? I did a shield. I'm doing a shield here. So my, so my uh, smearing the palm of my hand, or what is that part called here? What's that part called? You can see all the, the lid. This is the palm. This is the edge, the edge of your hand, I guess. I know there's got to be a scientific name for that. All right. So there we go. That looks awesome. Let's pull this back. Take a look. Let's pull this one back and see how we're doing. All right. So we have our light bulb and we have our, uh, our penguin portal. And then now for the next one, let's see here. Do you guys, I'm going to leave it up. Do you guys want to draw the little unibear sitting here? Okay. We did this yesterday or we can draw, or we're we going to draw the, the, the koala. We're going to do one more drawing before I go down to the Galveston seaside with my son. Do you want to draw the hugging? Oh, look at Mark Kissler's virtual summer camp. Yay! For the world. So what are we going to draw? Uh, let's take koala bear or the unibear. Fatima. What are you going to draw? What am I going to draw? The koala bear or the um, unibear? Let's see. I'm I'm waiting for you guys to vote in the text box. Caitlin, Luca, Fatima, Instagram, Facebook. Let's see. I'm going to see if I get any comments on Facebook. I'm not getting a lot of comments on Facebook. Hello, Facebook. Let's see here. Uh, Una World. Una wants me to draw Una World. All right. It looks like we're drawing koala. We're going to draw this, the hugging koala right there. That's what we're going to draw. I'm going to draw that guy. So let's zoom in. Uh, we're going to draw it right in this area right here. And then I'm going to zoom in on this one I'm gonna, in that little area right there. So I'm going to start, again, we just start really light. I'm going to block in. I'm going to just sketch, get sketch, block in the koala bear. And then I'm going to draw the koala bear's arms. He's going to be giving us a big hug. Then I'm going to taper the koala bear's arms down to the koala bear's body here. So here's the body. And I'm going to draw the... The arms are kind of short and stubby. All right, so see, I'm just blocking it in. I'm just sketching it in. Sketch, sketch, sketch. Sketch, sketch, sketch. And now the hands, I'm going to draw the koala bear's hands right here. Just so I, Again, I'm just shaping. I'm molding. And I want the hands to be about the same size and the arm. doesn't have to be perfect. Mine's not perfect. Look, you can see there's a little discrepancy. Isn't that cool? All right. <laughs> and of course, we can. Mario wants me to put a vacuum in here. Hey, did I get your second drop in? Will you go get it? No, you did. You did. What? You did. But I said, I'm saying, stress on the bus and license the flop. Oh, license the flop. That's right. Stress is on the bus. License the flop. All right. How's your eye feel? That's good. No, Mario, it's good? No itching? No. Okay. Now, right here, now watch this. I'm going to draw the thumb. The, 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 little, the thumb's going toward the sky. The That's back. just a tip here. The and, and then back. I'm going to draw the his little hands. Draw his little fingers here. This is going to be such a cool... Now, well, now what I'm going to do... For the koala, right here, I'm going to draw the koala's nose. Now, let's take a look at our, there's, that's what we want to draw with the background. I sure like that background, how it pops out that, the uh, koala bear. So, I'm going to draw the koala bear's nose here. Then, I'll draw the look of the koala's a marsupial, right? It's not really a bear. It's an animal with a pouch. And, I'll draw his eyes. Then, I'll draw the, the little pupils here. And then I'm going to put put the ears. The ears, you got to be careful. Or else it'll look like koala monkey. I'm going to put the ears. I'm going to put the ears right here. If you make them too big, it kind of looks like a monkey. There's her ears. 
And then now it's time for the fur, the texture, texture, texture. Put lots of texture here. Draw the texture. Draw that. Now, when I was in Australia teaching, one of the kids, I was up in Darwin, up in the northern part of Australia. It was uh, right there, uh, 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 way at the very top. And um, I'm trying to remember what islands. If you if you traveled a couple hundred miles straight off that point, I think you'd be in Singapore. I think I can't remember uh, the geography. Uh, and the uh, but it was really high up in Australia, and the uh, kids all had they were they had animals. They were bringing them to my to my drawing lesson, and they had kangaroos, wallabies. They had um, koalas and the I pet the koala and the koala was uh, it felt like I was petting a broom it felt like I was petting the edge of a broom it, it wasn't so I thought it was going to be super soft and I thought it was going to be you know like like all the koala the plushed koala animals that I've pet when I was here marsupio is an animal with a uh, pouch what the kangaroo is a marsupial, right? The kangaroo rat is a marsupial. What's another marsupial? Uh, my brother Carl is a marsupial. Just joking. All the cool animals seem to be in Australia. Wow, that's not cool. correct because if you look at the rainforest, goodness gracious! In fact, we have a whole we have a whole uh, week, a couple of them. I think three of the fourteen weeks are focusing on rainforest animals. Then we have one week of penguins and polar bears at my virtual summer art camp. 14 weeks of my summer art camp, you guys. I hope you sign up. Check out the different themes. I have uh, ancient Egypt marching mummies and <coughs> uh, pyramids. Uh, I have so many cool th themes for the 14 weeks. Check it out. I think you guys will love it, love it, love it. Love, love, love it, love it, love it. I'm going to put the textured fur. Let's put this textured fur on this koala, our little marsupial. Texture, texture, texture is really important to make your drawing uh, have it have that character, right? Have that style. All right, Instagram. Uh, let's see when you come. Uh, oh, hello. She wants me to come back to Dubai. I. I am going to come back to Dubai. To, I love Dubai. I want to come back, and uh, I went to oh, the uh, to the uh, uh, what was it? The, the book festival there is the Shreya Book Festival. And Mario wants to come to Dubai too. I'd love to come back to Dubai. Thank you, Instagram. I usually have my uh, my international viewers on Instagram, so I'm so glad to see you guys, and thank you for remembering me. When I came to Dubai, it's been a couple years. That was really fun. I love it. I hope to be back there at another uh, Middle East Film and Comic Con celebration. Maybe 2022. Let's see here. Darken it in here. Darken it. Put that shadow. Good to see you. There you go. I'm getting some comments there on Facebook. And all you guys watching on YouTube, thank you for watching on YouTube. I know you can't make comments. Uh, I had an, an issue with trolls, and that's why I had to turn the comments off. My, I'm sorry, but it it takes a lot less anxiety. <laughs> it lowers my anxiety when I'm doing a lesson. I don't because I know I have <coughs> children and families watching, and I really, really can't uh, have. Uh, trolls with foul language on the comments. So I just cut the comments off, but I can still teach. I can still draw with you guys. And if you want to do comments, just send me emails at, to mark at markister.com. There's my, my web address right there at the bottom. You can see on the screen how I have uh, up here, I got my little tag, my commercial for the virtual assemblies and for the You Can Draw in 30 Seconds book, You Can Draw in 30 Days book. Then over here, you can see my Draw 3D emblem. I have I love it that you guys sign up for that and have access to hundreds of recorded lessons. Right here is my Virtual Summer Art Camp logo, and right here is my handsome face. 
and Mr. Grandpa. All right. So now let's uh, let's finish this up by the, today. We've been really emphasizing putting that dark, that dark. Uh, take your pencil, and I'm going to put this dark uh, boundary around here. This dark value. This dark sky. Not really a boundary. That's not the word I'm looking for. I'm going to give them a. Just take your pencil. This is a fun part. Let's let's darken in behind him. And I'll and I'll make it really cool. Now what I'm trying to do is darken it, but I don't want to lose that texture. See, so I'm going to take this and I'll make it real careful here. On uh, Facebook, if you're on Facebook, send me a comment where you're from, what state are you from. If you're on Instagram, what country, what state are you from? Let me know. Good to see you guys. If you're on YouTube, give me a thumbs up. Even though you can't make a comment, I'm glad you're drawing with me. If you're on Zoom, if you're a wombat, uh, there's a, a wombat, a marsupial too, huh? I got some Zoom. Some of my Fine Arts Academy students. Hey, Fine Arts Academy, while I'm doing this, Melody, would you do another art round robin art gallery? Let's take a look at all the students' work from my live Zoom class. Let me see. I want to see uh, Luca's work, Caitlin's work. I want to see Fatima's work. I want to see Una's work. Let me see, you guys. Oh, now Caitlin, of course, does her light bulb, and then she went veered off and did her own cool long dragon. That's wonderful. Fatima did the faceless koala. Oh, I love it. That's a koala with no face. It's like a, it's like a, a twilight zone. It's like a black mirror koala bear. That's funny. I love it. You know that TV show, The Black Mirror, where it's like really weird sci-fi. It's kind of like the twilight zone. All right, Una, I sh I love your drawing, Una. I love your drawing. I'm going to give more. I'm just going to get more value for the on the side of the koala. Look at this. Isn't this fun, you guys? I'm adding a little more to style here. A little more style. A little more style. Let's move this one down here. A little more value back here. Isn't that fun? Do you love it? Well, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Oh, that's wonderful. I'm going to put a little more value on the side of his head here. You see that? Do you love it? Now, I don't know. I'm going to give the whole bear a little more value. In fact, I'm going to take my stompy. Let me see here. I think I want to, I'm going to value in. I'm going to put a little, I'm going to take my stompy. I think what I'll do, I'll leave those eyes bright white, but I want to put a little, little value here. See that? There you go. They make it like a, you know, there's this uh, fur is a little darker. All right. Do you guys love it? Let's pull this out here. Let's take a look at the whole page. There you go. You have your light bulb of illumination, your illuminated ideas. You have your penguin portal and you have your, your hugging, your genius, cool, big hug, big digital hug, koala, marsupio. Friend of the Wombat. Friend of the Wombat. I'm going to put more. Let's put our title on our sheet. This is me. It's Mark Kistler. Woohoo! Mark Kistler's Daily. Now, I'll be doing this daily on uh, Facebook, on YouTube, on Instagram. I'll be doing this uh, daily for the through this month. And on Zoom, of course, 11 o'clock Central Time Daily. Live Zoom with you could put Facebook, Instagram, and yeah, thank you. Uh, daily live Zoom drawing lessons. Daily limes live Zoom drawing lessons. <coughs> this is awesome. 
All right, Marcus Daily Live Zoom Drawing Lessons. And um, this is our Fine Arts Academy. It's week 35. Wow, we've done one for 35 weeks of 41 weeks. We have six more weeks to our till we start summer camp. And today is Tuesday. It's Terrific Tuesday. And this was our 11 a.m. class. And Mario, the date is? 13th. April 13th, 2021. All right, guys. Uh, thank you so much for for drawing with me, Melody. Would you sh uh, would you sh uh, save that recording, please? That was just so much fun. Thank you, guys, on Zoom. You're wonderful. Love you, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, everybody. Bye, my Zoom kids. Bye, bye. So there's my Zoom. I ended my Zoom, and then I am going to I'm going to end my Instagram. Goodbye, Instagram. You guys are awesome. You're amazing. You guys are great. So I actually recorded all of Instagram. Isn't that amazing, Mario? Yeah. So, see, I have to put it up here. Look at I'm doing. I have to. I have to save the Instagram. If I don't save the Instagram, I always lose it, and I don't want to lose it. So I'm going to save this. And the title is, "You Can." Draw in 30 seconds live. Now, you can't finish the drawing. The whole point is to give you that few moments of crazy courage, the few moments of crazy courage to start a drawing, and I know you'll, you'll, you'll keep going. All right. So now the title is Let's, let's Draw a... Illuminating light bulb. Illuminating light bulb. Illuminating light. Penguin portal. That's a good name, huh, Mara? Yeah. Penguin portal. I might run out of room. Peng oh, I did. Uh, I think I ran out of room. P-O. Oh, I did. I can only put in the illuminating light. That's fine. And we'll add that to... My playlist on Instagram, done, post. So Instagram is post. I saved it. We didn't lose it, Mario. So then I go up to YouTube and Facebook. Goodbye, YouTube and Facebook.